Hello, this is Akio Matsuoka, and today I'm going to introduce you simple grasshopper exercise. So when you think about grasshopper, everybody thinks it's too hard and complicated. But not all the geometry doesn't have to create it in grasshopper, and we can bring in rhino geometry in a grasshopper. So for example, I have three lines in a rhino top viewport. And I will bring those three curves to grasshopper. This is a curve parameter. And then from the left, I will set one curve. One, two, and three. So this gray means that has a data inside. Then I will go to the curve get the divide component. This is just like divide command in Rhino. Oh, I forgot. This bifocal is great tool. With this bifocal, you can tell that each component's a parameter's name. Okay, so this is a divide curve component. And then I will divide each curve like this. Then this is a number. So I will create a number slider. Let's say 5 less than, let's say, uh, 25. Then I will connect to those divide components. And you will see in Rhino workspace, and it's divided to five, and when I increases, the points increases. Then I will create line connecting those points. So I will go to the curve tab and looking for the interpolate just like interpret command in Rhino. So when I connect those components, you will see those curves are connected. And then what is interesting thing is that when I go to at the display, I will get the point list and point list will show you the uh, number of the list. So I would do 1, 2, 3.0. That is the size of the number. Otherwise, you can't see the number. And I will connect to the each point, each curves. So it's kind of hard to see. But it, you're starting to see the numbers from 0 to 12 because this is divided to 12. Then what's going to happen is when I connect to the each curve, lines are connecting. That's because the list is continue from the first one to the second one to the third. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to have a curve which goes horizontally like this between three curves. So what I need to do is I will uh, graft the each curve. So right click, graft. I know it's red, but it doesn't matter. I graft it here. And uh, lastly, this curve. So I'm going to get the cow pattern right here, cow pattern. So in order to cow pattern, so this is a tree structure. You see the dotted lines. So we have to flatten before you connect it to the cow pattern because this takes a list. See, list will connect to list input and this with the pattern. So I will get boolean toggle from param. 
I will get the multiple. One, two, three, probably four. And then, uh, let's see, I will do true, true, false, true, maybe. And then I will get the merge. Merge. So I will connect the merge to the pattern and uh, I will start to connect this. This is a true, true, false, true. But you're not seeing any patterns in Rhino. That's because you're seeing interpret and you need to turn off the preview of this component. Then I think I'm going to disable the preview of the point list too. I just wanted to show you the, how the number goes. So we finished with this. Then actually I'm going to turn off the points as well. Okay, so now you see all of the patterns. Then might as well, right now it's a 12, so I would divide it to more numbers. So 25. So you see true, true, false, true. So if you change, see, now right now it's a true, true, false, false. You can do true, false, false, false. You can use as many boolean toggles to create the patterns you like. Now I have these curves I drew in Rhino and I'm going to apply this definition to these three curves. Before I start, I will increase the number of this number slider because this is limited to 25. So I will edit, and let's say right now it's 5 to 25, so I would do like a 40. Okay, then I have this curve, so I will start applying. So right now these curves are the one on a plane, the straight lines. So now I'm going to reapply this to those three curves. So we start from the first top one, set one curve, two, and three. Here you go. Then I will hide this curve. Now you see that the curves you applied are twisted on these three curves. That is because the seam of this circle is located at the right side of the circle. So I will rotate 90 degrees. See, now it's fit. The advantage of having curves in Rhino is you can easily uh, play with those curves. For example, you can bring it out and all the, uh, the patterns in this case follows it and very easily edit. You can also turn on the control points and modify the curves. I will pipe those curves. So pipe. Actually, I think I need a two different diameter of the pipes. So first one is, I would say, one to 2.0. I have another one here. I will connect this pipe to this cut button. See, you're starting to see the pipes. So actually, oh, maybe I need to make it smaller. I forgot this is radius instead of diameter. Okay, 
Yeah, so I can adjust that. Uh, this pipe, you notice that, uh, you see here, it's hollow. So this end, so this E is an end. When you hover over the E, zero is none, which is a hollow, one is a flat, and two is a round cap. So I will create the number slider, zero, two, two. Then I connect it. So right now it's a zero. So default is a zero. Default was zero. So I would change it to one. See, you see that uh, this is solid now. And when you do two, see it's a round cap. So I will keep it to one. I could connect this wavy curve to the same pipe. However, Boolean union may fail, so I will connect to um, the pipe for different diameter component. I follow this one again. The same, the flat cap. And diameter, I wanted to change a little bit, maybe larger. And so this one goes to those three curves. So first one, I connect the C and second one. So the multiple connections, so I have to hold down the shift key and the third one. Okay. Then feel free to play with number slider until you find your pattern. I will get solid union for Boolean union. Then I will connect the pipe of the patterns and hold on shift. And since this is tree, I will right click and flatten. Then right click and bake and see if the Boolean union was successful. Okay, here you go. This is a Rhino polysurface. Then connect to the panel. It said close prep. I have a jump link and a hook in Rhino. So I will Boolean union this earring to the jumpling. Jumpling is Boolean union with earring.